Welcome to our Slido for Google Slides guide. I am Andrew. And I'm Zabina. So looking at the tech requirements in order for you to get started, Slido for Google Slides works for Windows and Mac. You will need the Slido add-on for Google Slides. So you can download that for free from our website. We always recommend that you use Google Chrome as the browser. And if you're doing that, you can also have the Chrome extension. Uh, which is the best way to do things is if you have that extension, everything in your deck will work properly if you have animations or videos on your slides. So once you add Slido into your Google Slides deck, if you want to connect it with the WebEx integration so your, your participants can vote within WebEx, you'll need to open up your WebEx app, select the same Slido event in there via the apps button. And you can do this as the host of the meeting. We're going to show you how that's done later in this video. Final thing here is if you're having any problems getting that add on, you might need to check with your IT department. They may need to whitelist or unblock the add on for you. So that's it from me. Let's get into the demo. Thank you. So let's have a look at our presentation for this. First, we are going to exit present mode. And as you can see here, this is our Google Slides presentation. And here is Slido already. I'm going to click on that and it's going to open our admin. First of all, if you are not already logged in, first it is going to show you a little login screen where you will have to log in, put in your credentials, probably your WebEx credentials, and then you will be brought to this screen here. And as you can see, I have quite a few old Slido events that I could now connect with this presentation, but for the um, case of this, I am going to create a new one. So we are going to create a new session. And as you can see here, this is our Slido admin. We have all the poll types that you're probably already familiar with, including the quiz. We have the joining instruction slide as well as Q&A. First, I would like to explain my participants later how to join. And for that, I am actually going to add the joining instruction slide. So I will click on this. That is in now. Next up, we are going to build a poll because you should always start a session with a poll. That's a Slido rule. And for that, we are going to have a multiple choice poll. And I'm going to ask, how familiar are you with this topic? Which is a great question at the beginning of a session when, for example, you would like to introduce new information and it is an easy way to gauge the expectations and also the experience level of your participants. So how familiar are you with this topic? Very, a little, or not at all. Okay. And as we can see down here, we would have the option to show results immediately, show results on click, and don't show results. For now, I would like this to be seen immediately. So we are going to click show results immediately and add this multiple choice poll to our presentation. And here it is. I would like it at a different location within my slide deck. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the panel to the left, click it and drop it down below. Here it is. That's where I want to have it. We are going to create one more poll. So create new interaction over here in the sidebar, click on that pick our poll, we are going to do a rating. And I would like to ask Andrew how his week is going. So let's ask about productivity, shall we? How productive do you feel this week at work? We are going to give him maximum five stars. Five stars would be fantastic productivity through the roof. One star is ah, maybe not so much. And then for the results, here we are going to try out something else and we are going to click on show results on click. So this one, add to presentation, and here it is. We're going to drop it where we would like to have it over here. I have a holding slide prepared in here, which is Q&A. So naturally, I would also like to add a slide of Q&A to this. So we are going back to our sidebar. Down below is audience Q&A click on that. And here it is added already. So we added our joining instructions. We added our polls. We put them at the right location and we added Q and A. What else do we need to do? Well, we might need some help with managing Slido. And since I'm not alone here and Andrew is here to help, we are going to invite him to our Slido event. So for this, 
I am going to click on the little hamburger menu up here, top left, and on sharing settings. Invite only, only people you will invite will receive the access. That's what I want. I'm going to type in his email address. There I am. There you are.